The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. According to the Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard of this, they were greatly astonished and said, who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For men, this is impossible, but for God, all things are possible. Then Peter said to him in reply, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory, will yourselves sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses or brothers or sisters, or father or mother, or children or lands, for the sake of my name, will receive a hundred times more, and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Our Gospel yesterday about the Anna asking the Lord what good what good must I do to gain eternal life and then the Lord said do the commandments fulfill the commandments and he said I have done all these things what more so we really have been reflecting reflect upon that there's something empty in his heart and he asked more and the Lord said go and if you want to be perfect, go and sell what you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. When the young man heard this statement, he went away sad, for he had many possessions. The young man went away sad, for he had many possessions. And the continuation of the gospel today. So when he went away sad, for he had many possessions, the Lord said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. And he said, It's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of the needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. So, the reflection for us yesterday and today about detachment and attachment. If we cannot, if we cannot detach ourselves from earthly possessions, material possessions, it is really hard for us to enter the kingdom of heaven. That's why the young man yesterday and yesterday's gospel went away sad. And so that's the point of the Lord today. It is hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Rich, in a way, holding on. To material possessions, to earthly possessions, to many things, holding on to many things, but he cannot enter the small door of St. Patrick. <laughs> because many things, but if we have to let go of those material things, to detach ourselves from material things, then we can enter the kingdom of heaven. But the Lord said, so this is always the attachment, attachment and attachment, attachment to God, detachment to material things. So if you are rich, but you are detached with material things, you use your 
resources, you, you use your riches to help God, to help the church, to help others. You detach yourselves to your riches, then you can enter the kingdom of heaven. It's always the attachment and detachment. And so this is always a challenge for us in our day-to-day lives. It is easy for us to journey. It's easy for us to let go when our focus is on eternal things. If you are focused on material things at the back of our minds, it is, e- it is hard for us to let go and move on, especially in our spiritual journey. Amen. Amen.